Hi, welcome in. April 27th, Samuel, 1 Samuel 9, verse 17, 10, verse 1, verses 17 to 24. God's second best. While Samuel, the priest, was speaking to Saul, God told him that Saul was the one he had chosen to be the king of Israel. So Samuel said to Saul, The Lord has chosen you as ruler of Israel. You will rule his people and protect them from their enemies. Then Samuel called the people together for a special meeting and said, This is what the Lord says. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, but you have pushed away your God who saves you out of all your troubles and have asked for a king. Then they brought Saul out to the people and Samuel said, Here is the man God has chosen for you. Can a bad decision ruin God's plan for me? Israel wanted a king they could see. Their faith had become so weak that they no longer trusted in an unseen king. There was also another reason for wanting a king. They wanted to be like the other nations around them. The Israelites thought that a king would make their nation look strong. God sometimes lets us have what we want if we insist on having our own way. When God sees that we are determined to do our own thing, he lets us learn from our mistakes. Decisions always have consequences, and while God will forgive us for the bad choices we make, the results and effects of those choices don't go away. That is why it is so important to be careful when making a decision that could affect you or others for life. Important decisions should not be taken lightly or without asking God. Verse for today. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. If you repent, I will restore you that you may serve me. Jeremiah 15 verse 19.